So what's up guys, uh, welcome back, uh, good morning, afternoon, evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. Uh, yesterday I posted a video, you guys should be careful, be careful in Abuja. I posted it, the video didn't even go viral. So, well, you guys are taking it for the joke, Abi. You guys should be careful, be careful in Abuja and what is happening in Abuja with the uh prick snatching and also um uh, and also uh one chance drivers in fact i'm going to play you two videos i'm just trying to just roughly touch this case so that you guys will see it i'm going to play you two videos just to show that yes indeed no incident are happening Abuja, Abuja, Abuja. Where is Where is it? Abuja, where is Where is it? Where is it? Abuja, where is Where is Well, one brakes matching and the other one one chance driver. Well, let's move past that. Of course, you know Prime Boy now. We are going to discuss Prime Boy and the uh, bad auxiliary Knox and the why you guys need to be extremely careful of just going to any chemist or pharmacy to get injected by an auxiliary nurse. Most of us do it in Nigeria. Me myself, I do it, but ah, I won't try it again. I won't try it again. Well, Prime Boy Mom made a video recently begging Nigerians to assist our son, Prime Boy, who is currently in police custody. Well, she said Mobad was like a son to her, you know, even when Mobad's mom wasn't there, he, she took care of Mobad. Mobad was sleeping in his house, eating together and everything with himself and Prime Boy. That is Prime Boy mom. Well, Prime Boy was the second suspect mentioned by the police. 
after they mentioned the auxiliary nodes, they mentioned prime boy before mentioning Skidu, who invited the auxiliary nodes, then mentioning Naramali and Samari. Five prime suspects. For me, honestly speaking, if you ask me, I do not see what Prime Boy did in those cases. I'm curious, I'm just being honest. I don't see what Prime Boy did. The only thing the police said was that Prime Boy had a fight with Mobad. Mobad sustained an injury. So, uh, monitoring and uh, trying to uh, nurture that injury, two days later, Speeding invited an auxiliary nurse to Mobad's out to treat Mobad to nurture the injury that Mobad had while fighting with Prime Boy. We do not know exactly what they were fighting about. And like so, now, nah, auxiliary nurse gave Mobad some injections, made them not follow a body, now nah, Mobad by for the end. So my question still remains, what about the wife? I don't understand how it's possible for you to be a wife your husband is sick for two days and a friend is coming to invite an auxiliary nurse. Where were you as the wife? Were you not supposed to even carry your husband to the hospital even prior before that time? Or was it that you weren't that it was it that you didn't want to attend to your husband? So please somebody should make her understand because if this matter, no one is understanding it, we are going to be making all sorts of uh, accusations of thinking with our heads and talking. Someone make me understand, is it possible as a wife, is it possible as a wife for someone, your friend, to come and suggest a auxiliary nurse for your husband while you are home? Is it possible? I've never seen it before. I've never witnessed such thing before. The wife is the boss of the house as soon as the man is not able to pick up his responsibility. The wives take over. In fact, if the man is handicapped, is in coma, the wives take over responsibility and decision making. He's not a friend. He's not a friend coming to take over and suggest you an ordinary nurse who is a quack. And you guys are blaming Prime Boy. Someone who had an injury, who was still talking very, very much okay, was sick. Then two days later, boom. Two days later, because of the injection, the police said because of the injection and everything that led, but Frank Boy had a fight with Mobad. Friends can have a fight. I fought with my best with my with my someone I regard as my best friend several times. We don't quarrel away. Well, well. When we disagree, we don't fight. Yeah, we fight. Not on our normal stuff. So what actually happened? Me, I know some of you might be saying Prime Boy is liable. Prime Boy is not liable for anything. Eh? Prime Boy can beat this case. Now the auxiliary nurse and the speeding. Now they really the see. Naramali and Samlari, of course, am I able to they can ever beat this case as well. Let's be honest. We shouldn't speak out of emotions. Now, I'm not speaking out of emotions. I'm speaking out of plain uh, what the law might see. Now, just the nurse, they in Uko and speeding. And they should ask, why didn't they indict his wife as well? Why didn't they? Because the wife also gets some certain things to say. Huh? I don't see everybody wants justice for Mobad, but let it be the real one. The real justice. People who made life available for him will get their own one. Don't be prime boy. They had the fight set. Don't be prime boy because if to say prime boy and mobile are at the fight now and mobile come by that day, that day, or by that minute, and here I will say that prime boy. Two days later, they invite an auxiliary nurse. Auxiliary nurse came two days later to treat Mubad after that fight. Up and now. 
reason are now. Well, that's his mom, and uh, we 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 we're still going to be uh, looking at the case to know how everything we play. And um, let's move past that. Let's talk about uh, the. Uh, okay, we were just discussing about the auxiliary nurse now, and I will still continue with that. Like I've said before, the speeding guy need to be questioned as well and all the mothers all the wives are told be it young or old i want you to make me understand how is it possible for a man for your for your husband friend to come to your house to make critical decisions about your husband's health it's not as if you have gone to the hospital, the thing is not working. Then the man now suggests a, a native doctor or anything. No, you have not gone to the hospital for two days straight. You no go to the hospital. And we know more bad. We know more bad for going to the hospital. When they beat her for Naramali time, Moba no go to the hospital. When they beat her for Samlari time, Moba no go to the hospital. No being in post uh, pictures and videos. This one are fight, they fight. Nobody said they're bitter. Now fight. He had a fight with his friend. He had a fight with his friend. May they not go put this, pin this case for innocent person head. Though. They shouldn't put this case on an innocent person head. Someone that doesn't know what is going on. Who just simply had a quarrel with somebody. They shouldn't put this case on an innocent person. This is what's it. Even more bad, no go like him. People should I see online people that you know you, you guys should think critically. Don't put this case on an innocent person's head. Let Mobad get his justice for the right justice. That's why I, that's keep, what I keep saying. Your justice that you want might not be Mobad justice that Mobad want. Your justice that you want might just be this uh, internet uh, uh, pleasing justice. But Mubad get you know, justice may want. You get people may want me their arrest. And the people may want me their arrest. They never mention all of them. Your justice not just to catch the Anaramali and Samlari them. And also not this prime board. But the justice may Mubad will not be that one. It might, it might not be. I do not know, but it might not be. Don't, don't allow them to arrest and uh, jail any innocent person. Let them get the right people. I pray, well, I don't know, but I do not want innocent persons to be jailed. Because innocent people are being jailed for what they do not know. Simply because of one thing or the other. Know that. They are, you just have some sympathy. If you go to Nigeria jail, most jail in the uh, prison in the world, you will see innocent people who don't know nothing. They just get into trouble. 